I'm doing an internship in uh, working corrections, and I'm also doing a macro project. I'm working with Marriage of Equality of Rhode Island. What brought me to Marriage Equality of Rhode Island, um, first of all, as a social work student, we fight um, on behalf of all oppressed peoples, and we also fight for people's civil and human rights. And this is a human rights issue, and I feel really strongly about it. And it's been fun, too. What makes it a human rights issue is the fundamental right of people to be happy and build lives together and have families makes it a civil right. Well, see, I, I disagree with that because my definition of marriage is two people who love and support each other and are entering a life together and are on the same path. So I think people can be same sex in order to achieve that. Well, the marriage equality of Rhode Island, we um, want full marriage rights for same-sex couples, and it's not about religion, it's, a le it's the legal aspect. People have the right to freedom of religion, people should have the right to marry as well. I don't see it as a religious issue because this is a state law and I believe in the separation of church and state. Well, it's important to me because I think, unlike living in a theocracy, America is a democracy, and we ha all have our own beliefs, but we also have the greater laws that we have to live by, and there's n nothing that says a Christian law is more relevant or more important than a Muslim law or, or any other faith. So I think making this into a religious issue really is a non-starter because we are looking for civil legislation. Well, what, I, what I'm seeing that this is turning into a referendum about homosexuality, not really a referendum about marriage. And that concerns me because legislating um, against people's sexual preferences is really dangerous. I think we're getting um, well beyond where the legislation is even going. We're talking about legislating people's private lives, but that's not what the bill is about. The bill is about, you know, marriage. It's not about people's sexual preferences. And I think, I was raised in the Catholic Church, I have respect for people's faith, but I also think we do live um, in a society where there is supposed to be a separation of church and state. And when you oppress a certain population, I think that goes against Christian values as well as other values. And I also think that a Christian value of not judging, judge not lest ye be judged, is really um, contrary to a lot of the things we're hearing. See, the, the, the problem that I would have with that is that the majority of the people in the state are not same sex. So putting that up, you're just guaranteeing that it won't be passed. And that's what's happened in a lot of other states where it's gone up to the, and things like right, you know, voting rights for women, ending slavery, if those would have been state referenda, who knows when they would have passed. So I don't think it's a, it's a workable solution. I think it's really similar. I think oppression is oppression is oppression, and I think our founding, uh, the founding fathers, um, the ideals of our country um, were based on freedom, not on, on oppression. And I think we need to respect each other, too. First of all, what is an ideal family and what is an average family today? I mean, I know so many people that are single parents due to divorce or choice, and I think it depends on the people. And I also, I don't buy into the um, 
you need a, a male, you need a female. Um, I don't buy into that because I don't think it's, um, I think people can make families work. Families, um, if people love each other and care, I think that's what makes a family. I don't think it's so much whether or not they're your biological children or, um, I think same-sex couples have the same issues that um, heterosexual couples have. Either they're good parents or they're not good parents. I don't think it has anything to do with their sexuality. I'm not gay myself, but I do have people, I do know a lot of people who are gay parents, who are wonderful parents. And I think, again, it depends on the individual. Um, I think if you have an, if you're a generous person, if you set aside time for your children, if you're a caring person, I think it's not really, it doesn't depend on, on what your sexual orientation is. Some of the things that were said at those hearings were very oppressive, were very bringing up AIDS and bringing up HIV and bringing up um, the unfitness to be parents. These things, they're very prejudicial. So I wouldn't necessarily say the people themselves are bigots, but I would say that some of the things said were very were very um, judgmental, and they had they they had prejudice in them. But I wouldn't say necessarily bigots. I just think when you when you use oppressive language, it, that's what that's what it reads to me as, as oppressive. So as a social worker, well, to be because I'm graduating soon, but. Um, you know, we can't be judgmental, so that's just not where we are. We have a code of ethics, an NASW code of ethics, and in our code of ethics, um, we have to protect people's um, human rights and their abilities to live their lives, and if you're not able to um, support someone's um, human rights, then social work might not be your calling. You know, we have, we're licensed, you know, I'm not licensed yet, I'm still a student, but you know, you get licensed and you're supposed to follow a code. And, um, you know, our code is to be, you know, non judgmental and to be supportive of people. And we're, we're supposed to be culturally competent. That's what we're supposed to do. I don't. Um, I, I don't buy into. I, I. I buy into the biology view. I think people are wired. Um, I think sexuality is wired, hardwired. I don't think it's a, like, oh, I'm gay today kind of choice. I don't. I don't. I don't agree with that. Well, people also live lies sometimes. People live in the closet because they don't feel like they can come out. And I think some people actually kind of live a lie. They don't, they're not true to their own feelings because they don't feel society or their family will support them. And it's kind of sad, but I think it, it, that does happen. I don't really see it as like a gay issue. I don't think like all the people I'm working with, not, people are of all different sexual orientations. I think it's something we just care about as people.